Welcome everyone to another edition of MCK Answers Back. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the Gazette article that happened in Saturday, October 2nd edition of the Gazette uh, in regards to the Operation Colise, which happened in 2006, and uh, I guess some uh, relations to the Gunawaki Gaming Commission and the Montreal Mafia. Uh, first of all, uh, in 2004, um, WSC Incorporated uh, Management, which is World Sports Center uh, Incorporated Management, was licensed by the KGC to a certain Marco Di Pasquale. Marco Di Pasquale was not mentioned in the Gazette article as a, a license holder since 2004. Uh, other members of the Montreal Mafia were mentioned, though, in this article, and at the end it was kind of insinuated that the KGC was linked to the Montreal Mafia. Mr. Di Pasquale was arrested during Operation Colise in 2006, after which time the KGC suspended all permits to WSC, which was World Sports Center uh, Incorporated Management, and uh, secured all their servers at MIT. They also secured funds uh, to make sure that all players' accounts were paid out and no players uh, were left holding the bag, uh, so to speak, and made sure that they were all paid back. Um, at no time were any of the individuals mentioned in the Gazette related to WSC Incorporated. Uh, the way we run licenses uh, through the KGC is they're a key person or a key persons, and there was only one for this company, which was Marco Di Pasquale. Uh, he went through all the proper due diligence that the KGC uh, goes through for any of uh, a key person that's going to be uh, holding a license within Gahnawage, and he passed. And uh, there are rigorous due diligence tests, uh, including credit, credit history, uh, criminal checks, and so on and so forth, which he passed. As soon as he was arrested, however, uh, during the 2006 Operation Colise, uh, the license was revoked. So any... Um, I guess uh, insinuation that the KGC is linked to the Montreal Mafia should be dispelled immediately. Uh, the KGC has stringent rules and regulations that they adhere to, and I, I just want to make that clarification for people who are readers of the Gazette and uh, if this story has been carried uh, nationally as well. So hopefully that clears that up. Thank you very much.